Hey. Hey guys, uh, welcome to Poor Man Mods. Today is not your typical Poor Man Mod episode. Last time, I'm just going to give a fair warning right now. This is not car related at all. And last time I posted something not car related, it was photography. A lot of people had a conniption about it, even though I said in the description, I know it's not car related. So, this time I'm going to gonna give a verbal warning. This is not car related, but it's still something DIY. Um, as you can see, I have a MacBook Pro that I do all the editing on for this show. And I've just wanted to increase its performance a little bit, and I wanted to get a solid state drive. But I didn't want to have to put everything on my original drive on an external, even though I do have an external. I wanted to keep it all. And I wanted to see if I could get dual hard drives in there. Turns out you can. So I'm going to show you guys how to put dual hard drives in your MacBook Pro. And what you're going to do, a lot of people may not want to do this. I don't care because I don't use the thing I'm going to be replacing. But we're going to replace the CD drive with a hard drive slot. So what this does, you take the original optical drive out and you put this in there. It's a SATA port. So you can put a second hard drive in there. Now what this is going to do, it's going to allow me to transfer the operating system and all my programs onto the solid state drive, which will allow it to boot up much faster and load my programs much, much faster. And it's just going to make editing for me a lot more efficient and just the computer will run a whole lot better. And it may even save some battery life if all the main components are on the solid state drive. It's not going to be spinning a disk. So after this uh, install it's going to have 720 gigs of internal storage which is pretty good I have a one terabyte external too that I put all the episodes on so I don't think I'm going to have a problem with storage but it's definitely going to run a lot better and I'm going to show you guys how to put dual hard drives in your MacBook Pro and I'm sure there are similar products that you can do this for other laptops and I know some of you guys are thinking, oh, you're going to be ditching the optical drive. What are you going to do if you want to burn a CD or what if you need to install something? Um, honestly, I've had this MacBook for over a year now, and I can't ever recall putting a CD in there. Um, I'm pretty sure all the Mac OS stuff is all digital download now. I don't burn CDs um, when I'm in the spec. I listen to music on my phone via auxiliary cord. And in the Supra, it's got a USB port, so I put like a flash drive in there or whatever. I don't use CDs anymore. Um, all the Adobe programs, they're digital download now, Creative Cloud. There isn't anything that I need disks for. Um, when I give files to people, it's usually email or YouTube or whatever. So I don't need the CD drive at all. But if you do need it, they make a simple cord that you can plug in your CD drive and hook it up to USB, no problem. So don't worry. And this whole install, well, this conversion kit, which came with a lot of stuff, it was only 50 bucks. And the hard drive I got, it's 120 gig solid state. Got it for 100 bucks. So I couldn't be happier with this. And when I'm finished, I'm going to do a boot up of how. I'm going to show you how quickly it will boot up. Um, I already took a video of turning the computer completely off, booting it back up, and then opening Adobe Premiere. It took a pretty long time. I was I actually never really timed it before, and I was kind of disappointed in how long it took. So putting all of my programs in OS on the solid state should make it boot much, much quicker, and hopefully you'll be able to see some pretty awesome results. So let's get to the install. Okay, so with the optical drive replacement kit, it actually came with a screwdriver and bit set. So we're just going to use the screwdriver to take off all of the screws on the MacBook. This, ladies and gentlemen, is exactly what we will be removing. Just take this little ribbon off. And then the screws for the optical drive. 
So we got that screw off from underneath that ribbon right there. Now it's time to get this screw off that's down in here. You're probably going to wonder the same thing. Without labeling all of these screws, how are you going to remember where they came from? Honestly, I don't know. Might have to go back to the video. But, there's the CD driver taken out. Um, for me, it's effectively useless. But, uh, put in the new SATA port. Okay, now here are the two pieces. Here is the old optical drive, and here is the new hard drive. Swap this guy over. Now, put the new SSD in, take that out, slide this bad boy in here, like that, boom, now it's in, nice and secure. Here, so now you can put this ribbon back on. It's as simple as pushing it back on. And you just want to double check and make sure that everything is buttoned up before you put this cover on. I uh, replaced the thermal paste on my old PC laptop, got everything put back together, and I forgot to put my keyboard back together, which was a really stupid, easy, avoidable mistake. So just double check and make sure that everything, like this ribbon, this ribbon, this ribbon, all your screws, make sure nothing came unplugged. Everything seems good. So now let's bolt the cover on. program that is copying the operating system and some of the programs that I heavily use onto the new SSD so the operating system will run more smoothly and the programs I use will open quicker and it's going to take some time uh, copying probably at least 100 gigs worth of data over so uh, as soon as this is finished I will show you guys uh, how much faster it boots. So, uh, 30 seconds sure is a lot faster, isn't it? I am thoroughly impressed. And I didn't even realize that the kit came with this SATA to USB cord. So you can take the CD drive that I thought was useless now. If I ever needed to use it again, you plug it in here. Bam! And then you plug it in via USB, and now you have an external CD drive. And you got two hard drives. How awesome is that? So, once again, I know this isn't automotive related, but it is a DIY project. So, uh, hopefully you guys aren't too mad at me for doing this. So, hope you learned something, hope you enjoyed it. See you next time with something car related.